there have been a lot of people talk about about 23 like lagging on their pcs i had the same issues when i just downloaded the game like months ago and i've been looking for like solutions on youtube but i couldn't find like any that i found some that helped but not like totally like the settings i'm using right now it's not the same with the ones i found online so i'll put you like a lot of people have been asking like how am i getting smooth gameplay on mine on like what they are having on theirs like some some of them their pieces are even better than mine but still they seem to have stuttering lags and and their internet is good too so i'm about to show you the settings i use for my own fifa 23 pc so first off um you head to your video control panel i'm using windows 11 so here are my settings for my nvidia control panel i use um the dual display i have a dex um i have a monitor so well, use my monitor well all you have to do is come to your manage 3d settings up here there's where you have to come then use these settings for your global settings all this This one matters a lot. It's shader cache size, put it at unlimited. So it allows the game app control of it. And for your for your power management mode, make sure it's at prefer maximum performance. That's the best option for FIFA. And then you head to your program settings. If your FIFA is not here already, you have to select it from here. So you pick the FIFA. Then here's my settings for FIFA. Image scaling, use global settings. Um, and it's tropic filtering, use global settings. You can see everything and serializing and global settings too. Um, Comma correction, global size. I pretty much didn't touch anything from here. I'll show you why. Tamper with um, my CUDA GPUs. So it sets at on. So low latency mode is set at on. But first, your CUDA GPU setting should be a global. That's all. You can select this one too. Like, then you pick your GPU. It's the same thing since well this is for people using video so that's it so all low latency mode you can use on or ultra is your choice since there's no in-game settings for it so it will help i guess and this matters a lot maximum frame rates i don't know why the game frame rate is kind of shaky i don't understand what's going on so you have to come to your maximum frame rate and like put it to the max custom you have to own it here then put it to the max so this lets you like play on the highest frame rate the game can offer on your gpu so that's it and my rendering mode open gel rendering mode open gel rendering GPU, you have to select my graphics card. So you, you'll find your graphics card there. It might, it might not be the same with mine. So you select your graphic card. Then power management mode or everything else is on global settings. Everything is on global settings. Then click apply. Take a little bit of time, like glitching. Uh, when it's done, um, don't forget to come to your configure surround six here. So you select your GPU here. It lets you auto select your GPU then CPU option. So you select your GPU, and that's all for my 
video control panel settings i should have made this full screen but i don't know if you guys can see it still okay let me make a full screen full screen and like go again let me go back where it is here Do this for your global settings. Uh, just follow this. All of this. Then program settings. Select your game from this place. And do all this. Yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. And here. Yeah. Select your GPU here. And that's all. That's all. You click save when you're done. Click save here. So you let it save. Um, you have to go to the game files. To go to your game files. You have to add your game files here where you install the game. It's usually in program files 86 Steam. If you installed from Steam though, program files 86 Steam, Steam apps come on, then FIFA 23 folder. But if you install it on Origin, I think you get Origin games here, then you go inside from there. You find your FIFA 23 folder there. Then, first off, you have to like make sure your FIFA settings. Um, you have to make sure your FIFA launcher is set to run as administrator every time you launch it. So you go to properties, you right click, go to properties, compatibility settings, tick this, run this program as administrator. You have to click this, press apply, and OK. Then we head back to our installer. I don't know why they added the EAN to cheat. Well, I've never really seen people cheat on fifa that much but well is what it is so here's your installer ea anti-cheat let me make this full screen ea anti-cheat here so you run this as administrator then you select this drop down menu here select fifa 23 you click on install so it's done on install success then you click install again and it installs the anti cheat back and you quit this go back go back to your FIFA folder then launch the game as so I do just um why the game launched um please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video if you have any problems you can put it on the comment section i'll attend to it also put your pc specs down in the comment section if you have any problems oh it's for the game to launch yeah and it loads up then opens the game yes I don't know why this game takes like a lot of time to launch. Unlike FIFA 22, we had no issues with FIFA 22. But I guess maybe this is because like it's a new gen graphics and everything, so the optimization is still like something else. Now I'm using an Xbox controller. So I, I heard people are having issues with their PS5 controllers or PS4, but I don't know. 
I use egg gross one for that. Keep the... I'll show you my in-game settings before I hope things I like I try to play a game. I don't know why the menu settings is kind of capped out. Good evening to you and a warm welcome to the part of West London where the King's Road and Fulham Road meet, Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the it Premier Robson's League coming right up. It is Chelsea Six. and they face Bournemouth. Well, thanks, Derek. The best why. coach I played That's under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa is the goalkeeper. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Mateo Kovacic starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. Thank you for attending Stamford Bridge. 
enjoy the game. The realism of the game is mad though. No cap. It's crazy. Compared to what we had last year. Oh, and this go. confrontation is underway. So you can see at the top right corner my FPS, bro. Marcus Tavernier. No issues. Jefferson Lerma. Okay. Well, high quality defending. And it's the same for FET. I play FET too, so. Jorginho. Same. I play FET. Havertz. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Aspiliqueta. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Uh, you can see so far. Well, for the visitors, see. Stuart, we're talking about the worst defence in the league. Room comment. for improvement, certainly. Well, I just can't see how they keep a clean I sheet mean, today. At times this specs. season, they've been shambolic no. at the back. The distance no between the defenders has been far too big, and therefore they're too easy to play against. A creative look about this. Billing. Oh, fine stop. Corner kick played in. The clearance wasn't decisive. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Uh, I think that will be all. So, like I said again, if you have issues sorting yours out with these settings, after doing this setting, then it doesn't work properly. For well, when you. you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance uh, doesn't get enough specs, height on it, yeah. doesn't get enough distance on it, and I'll suddenly the ball's the being played back into yeah, their danger area, and, and they don't so reorganise yeah. themselves, I'm and, and on my that's laptop, why the ball's in the um, back of their net. 5 7 10 gen with added text, 27 for super, and they have got to start. Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please.